Welcome to another parent-teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And just to show you that you can work with some lighter objects and some lighter non-standard units and compare, let's do this. Let's put this marker over here in this bucket. And of course, it's going to go down. It's heavier than this side. And now, let's see how many paper clips, which are obviously a much lighter item also, will it take to uh, balance out this scale. In other words, the, the Sharpie marker will be equal to how many paper clips? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're getting close now. It might be eight. It looks like about eight is what it is equal to. I think that's about as accurate as we're going to get. And as you can see, when we're using uh, lighter non-standard units, it's much easier to get extremely accurate. So you can point that out to your child. The lighter the, the non-standard unit, the, the easier it is to obtain uh, better accuracy uh, in equalizing these two weights. Now let's take a bit of a different approach uh, to the balance scale. And what uh, we will be doing is weighing objects with just one type of uniform non-standard unit. Well, what do I mean by that? Um, we will be using this consistently, the one inch colored cube. And I have a, a supply of them here and I will be using those in this bucket and over here I will be placing various objects and uh, we will uh, be balancing the scale uh, in that manner. So let's start out with uh, this yellow foam ball. I will place it, place it in the balance bucket and of course down it goes and I will begin to add the color cubes. One, two, three, I'm getting there, four, it's between three and four, but I'm going to say four looks a little, a little more accurate down here on our pointer. So let's say, and as you can see, I'm going to be writing down this results over here off camera, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second here. So one foam ball is the same as one, two, three, four. I'm going to call them cubes. And let me show you what I'm doing now very very quickly. As you can see, I've made a uh, kind of an informal list here. In this, in this column, we will have the item we're weighing over here, and in this column, the non-standard unit, and that's four cubes. So one foam ball is the same as, there's our equal sign, four cubes. Okay, let's uh, weigh something else. How about our toy car here? Oops. Yes, you should, you should be gentle 
with the, with the scale here. All right, so there's our toy car. What's this going to weigh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Getting there, fourteen. And it looks like very close to fourteen uh, cubes. So one toy car. Of course, I'm writing this down over here off, off camera uh, in our list. Equals is the same as 14 cubes. And I'm going to gently this time take, take things out. All right, what can we do next? Let's let's try uh, the cell phone. How many blocks will it take to balance or equalize the weight of the cell phone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think 10 is pretty close. Okay. One cell phone equals 10 cubes. All right, cell phone goes out. Cubes go back out. Let's try my wallet. Place my wallet in here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, getting close, eleven, and it looks like the wallet is equal to eleven cubes. One wallet equals 11 cubes. And if you remember when we weighed these earlier, they looked approximately, the, to be approximately the same weight. In fact, that's true. They're, they're very close. The wallet is slightly heavier than the cell phone. So you could, uh, um, you know, encourage that kind of thinking with your child while you're doing this and, and ask, ask questions while you're uh, weighing these objects, you could say, well, you know, is the cell phone weigh the same as the uh, wallet? And, and uh, she might say, no, the cell phone weighs slightly less than the wallet. Or the wallet weighs slightly more than the cell phone. Okay. Let's weigh one more thing. And um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put I'm going to use our wood screws and I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty, just to show your child that yes, you can balance. Uh, uh, the, our non-standard unit here with uh, several things, not just one thing. So here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Looking pretty close. Seventeen. I think it's closer to 16. Of course, we have to approximate. So 20 wood screws equal 16 cubes. So your child might want to make some inferences about that. Um, she might look at those figures and realize, well, 
uh, the wood screw must uh, must weigh slightly less than the the cube or the cube or she might say the cube uh, might weigh a little bit more than the wood screw by looking at those numbers so uh, once again it's great to ask your child questions while you're doing this or allow him or her to make inferences as to the comparisons and that's really what we're doing here we're comparison comparing weights balancing weights uh, equalizing is another word you could use or just weighing by using this uh, one type of uniform non-standard unit okay um, I think the last thing I want to say here is uh, first of all let me show you our data there it is as you can see I've written all these out and, and one thing uh, you you may want to do with your child now this would be a great idea is to uh, make a graph uh, take all this information set up a graph uh, make a graph out of it compare uh, con contrast all the things you do with uh, with a graph and I think that would be a, a wonderful uh, companion activity to do with this weighing weighing and balancing activity we just did here with the balance scale